driver dot find element by the xpath expression and what is the expression of the xpath this is the xpath of the first row all columns this is the manually created xpath for first row all columns so copy that paste it out here and get the text and the return type of this let's say is a string represented by the variable text 4 and I can just write on a CISO statement data at all columns of first row first row R just remove this is text 4 so let us see it is giving me data of all the columns of the first row or not so data of the first data from all the columns of the first row will be signed limited a 483.15 538.80 plus 11.52 these are the datas I should get at one go am I getting it or not I'm just getting the datas when I run this particular code the console only shows me data for the first row first column this is the data of the first row first column that means this instance is not working so I need to comment it so what I need to do is that I need to actually use driver dot find dot find elements with s by the x path and what is the expression of the x path the x path that you have created for all columns of first row it will try to find x path which will have this particular format okay and the return type of this find element is a list of web elements this list will contain all elements having that particular format of the xpath which can be more than one all list I'll call this as all list and I'm going to import the web element from the selenium package and the list interface from the util package and now I can basically do what I can use the for loop in order to travel through all the indexes of this list the list supposed the list interface supports indexing so the indexing is represented by a starts with 0 a should be less than all list dot size a plus plus and <coughs> I want datas from the all the columns of the first row are so this has to be changed to all list dot get to the index number represented by a and get the text of it this will travel through all the indexes which are present in this list and get the text let us see I'm getting the requisite result or not I'll close this browser save the class file and run it So let's see so we see out here I'm getting data at all columns of the first row this is the first column data of the first row this is the second column data of the first row this is the third column data of the first row this is the fourth column data of the first row this is the fifth column data of the first row 
and I'm going to cross check. So signed limited A 483.15 signed limited A 483.15 538.80 11.52 538.80 11.52 so using the list interface and the for loop of the list interface, I'm able to get the text at all the columns of the first row. Simply, let's say I want to get the data from the last row, data from all the columns of the last row. So this is the X path of the last row, first column copy it so this is the X path of the last row first column last row first column and again I want to see the X path of the second column last row so this is the X path of the second column of the last row and similarly you want to get the X path of the third column of the last row and this is the last row second column this is the X path of the last row third column. Then I want to get the X path of the last row fourth column. That is this one. is the one and similarly the X part of the last row fifth column and the X part is this is the X part of the last column of the last row that is the fifth column of the last row rather now if you look at the trend the X path are the format of the X path are same this is the 54th row okay the format of the X path are same what is changing is the column names is the column number is one two three four five so let's say I want to get the data from the last row, all columns. Data from last row, all columns. So this is the X path. So I'll just copy this part. This is the X path. I can just pick up one of the X path of one of the columns of the last row. And I will manually manipulate it. I will just remove the number. And this TD represents all the columns of the 54th row. I can use this particular part right now. So what I'm going to do is that, what I'm going to do is that, I'm going to actually get, to get data of all columns of the last row so I need to use the same list interface the only thing this will be all list I'll call this reference variable the all list one find elements with this particular X path copy it go out here and paste this this will remain same the for loop will actually 
travel through all the indexes present in the list interface and going to get the data of it the text of it rather all columns of the last row are this so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a differentiator to differentiate the answers a differentiator will be the star sign so that we can differentiate the answers for this and this in the console of Eclipse actually I should use the differentiator here to save the class file close the extra browser and run the class file So let's check it out. So these are so I'm not getting the result, so I need to check out what is the problem. Let's see the console once more. So I'm not getting any problems. The problem is the data are not getting flashed out in the console of Eclipse. So This driver to find element by the X path. The X path is this X path TD 54 TR54 TD. This has been copied, and the return type of is a list of web elements. And I'm using the for loop out here to actually get the data. All list dot get of index numbers A and get the text of it. So let's see why it is not working. So I will close the browser, run the class file once more. I'm still not getting it, so. Let's get the XPath once more. So the XPath of okay, it has 53 rows. Now I have put out 54 rows. So I need to go to XPath and change this to 53. This is the first last row, first column, last row, second column, last row third column last row fourth column last row fifth column here also I need to change it and in the X path also I need to change it to three so that should fetch me the results for the Wipro limited with a 476.95477.10 and plus 0 0.03 let's see if I'm getting it right now or not so save the class file and run it
that's it I'm still not getting it so let's see what is the last one Wipro limited so let's do it from scratch so let's go to the XPath, get the XPath of this. This is the XPath of the last row, first column, and that I'm going to put it out here. This should be the XPath of the last row, second column. This should be the XPath of the last row, third column. This should be 3. This should be last row, fourth column. This should be 4. This should be last row, fifth column. This should be 5. And data from the last row, all columns, XPath should be. This, I just remove, need to remove this. I'll copy this XPath once more and go to my script I'm going to copy this XPath out here and <clears throat> find all elements with this XPath and put it to a list of elements represented by the reference variable all list one and for a representing the index number of all the elements having this location uh, a should start with 0 a should be less than all list 1 dot size a plus plus and sist out a lost list dot gate of a bit of text <coughs> so let's run this and check out what I need to do is first check out if I would be able to get mm, string text 5 which is equal to driver dot find element by the xpath expression let's say for last row first column this will be td1 dot get text method so let's do a CISO of this so write down data from last row first column is concatenate this with this particular text so this will be to get data from last row first column am I getting it or not let us see that save the class file let me close this browser and run this let's check it out uh, 
we see that the console shows no such element exception and uh, it is not able to locate this particular xpath so what I need to do is that let me create a thread.sleep method out here to actually locate it in a specific time period so I'm going to use a static weight out here I'm going to give a delay of 5000 milliseconds that is equal to 5 seconds at the throws and the throws will clause will actually handle the exception and save the class file and run it Let us check up. Uh, it is still not able to find, unable to locate it, and the problem is cropping up in line number 45. So it is not able to get the text. So let us check out the xpath of the first column last row. This is the xpath. Now I can see the number of columns are decreased to 52 and I have used here 53. So let us change it to 52 and run the file again. this should at least give me the text right now of the first column last row data from the last row first column is pro limited so I'm getting the text so I also no need to use a differentiator I'll use a differentiator to differentiate the answer next time and now this should work so now what I can do is in this x path instead of 53 I need to put 52 and, and also in the script what I'm supposed to do is instead of 53 put 52 and then run this this should give me the data of from all the columns of the last row so let's run this <coughs> web page opens and let's check out the data this is the data from all the columns of the last row it's repro limited a 476.95 477.10 plus 0 0.03 let's cross check it repro limited a 476.95 477.10 plus 0 0.03 and that's what i'm getting in the console of eclipse okay now let's understand one more particular thing let's see i want to get the datas of all rows of the first column so let's understand it I want to get the datas data from first column of all rows how do I do that so this will need us to manipulate the xpath so I'll copy the xpath out here so this copy this xpath copy and paste it out here so datas of all columns of the first row 
TD represents all columns. Sorry, there's no numbering for it. So this represents all columns. This is so data of data from first column of all row. First column means TD1. All rows means I can just remove this part. So this is how I manipulate the X path. So this will be first column of all rows. TR doesn't have any numbering. So num doesn't have any numbering means it is nothing but representing all the rows out here and data from the first column of all the rows. So let's use this. to get data from first column of all rows. So what are the data that I want to get? I actually want to get these data. Science Limited, Just Tile, JK Tires and Industries, Petronet, LNG, Bayer Crop Science, until your Wipro Limited. So these, is the, these are the data from the first column of all rows. So let's see, this will be all list two. And what I'm going to do is pick up this X path, which I've manipulated and put it out here. And this will be all list two, lot size A plus plus, this is all list two. Data's from first column of all rows <coughs> excuse me so I'll close the browser I'm going to save the class file and run it so let's see So this is where I get data from first column of all rows. Saint Limited, Just Tires, JK Tires and Industries, Petronet, LNG, and the last one was Wipro Limited. And that is what I can cross verify too. The first is Saint Limited, then Just Tile, then JK Tires and Industries, then Petronet and LNG, and the last one is Wipro Limited. And that is what I am getting out here. First one is this, and first column last row is this. Similarly, let's say I want to get the data of all rows, all columns. The data is from all rows, all columns. All columns, all rows. So X paths will be something like this. Just have to manipulate the X path, nothing else has to be done. So, so, this doesn't have any numbering, this doesn't have any numbering. So, this means all rows, this means all columns. I'll just copy it. before I copy this. I need to go to my script, copy this part again, and paste it from all columns all rows so this will be represented by all list 3 and the x path that is manipulated is this copy it paste it out here and this will be called as all list 3 and all list 3 traverse through each index and get the text of it so this is going to give me the data from all rows all columns so let us close the browser save the class file and run it let us look at the console
so last row data is Wipro limited a 476.95 plus 0.03 let us cross check it Wipro a 476.95 plus 0.03 and that is what I see in the console for the Wipro row and the first row let us check it out a signed limited a 483.15 Eighty-three point eight zero plus eleven point five two. Let us cross check it. Eighty-three 